Hello super user. So today we are learning about a really cool simple tip for writing polychords in Finale. So we're going to use the normal chord tool to write the polychord symbol. Just like if we were to go over here and write, I don't know, C7, we're just going to use that exact same tool. But instead of simply just writing a chord like C7, this time to write the F sharp over C, we're going to write F sharp, then underscore C. And the underscore tells Finale that it is a polychord and we want to have things vertically like that. And this still works if we have a seventh chord over here. Like over here we have A7 over B flat seven. So we just write A7 underscore B flat seven, just like that. And we have our A7 over B flat seven polychord. And so we can keep going with the chords over here. So this is going to be a B minor underscore C major chord, just like that. And finally we have a nice easy B flat underscore D, just like that. So that's how you were to write polychords in Finale. So then the only last thing to clear up is why do we write polychords vertically with a horizontal line rather than like a B flat slash D? Well, that's just because this typically refers to a, a B flat chord with a D in the base, like so, or if we actually wanted the polychord, we would have this notation right here. So that's it for today. That's how you write polychords in Finale. If you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button that way I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.